This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychytruth. This is the morning stretch routine and we'll start with some dynamic stretches. You will need a strap or you could use a longer towel or a TheraBand. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and begin standing. This program consists of a morning stretch routine, evening stretch routine, and advanced level videos to help you keep progressing. I'm excited to share the flexibility secrets I've learned over the years and help you safely work towards your straddle or center splits, side splits, and over splits. For best results, I encourage you to also work on your strength and stamina in my other Banks Method workouts. If you're consistent with this program, you should get your splits in one to three months. You can find the rest of this program and all my Banks Method workouts on the Yoga Plus app or watch it free with Amazon Prime. So we're gonna start lifting those knees to get the blood flowing. So bring opposite arm, opposite leg, nice and quick so we can get our heart rate up, get nice and warm before we start our stretches. Lift those arms long, reach the fingertips away from the shoulders, knees come up high. So we're stretching out the hip flexors, the front of the thighs. Now let's bring those arms overhead, reach them long, keep lifting the knees here. Take a second to pull the core in tight, lift the knees a little bit higher. Good, now we're gonna start to straighten out those legs. Now I want you to flex through the foot, so you can really feel that hamstring opening up. Drive through that heel, press it out long, feel length in the back of the leg. Starting to feel the heart rate climbing a little bit. Energy into that kick, maybe lift it a little bit higher. Good, for four, three. Now we're gonna start to pull the elbows back as we lift the leg to get our heart rate up. Arms and legs are moving, full body is working. Breathe here, we got eight more. Good, kick a little higher, flex the foot a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, now widen out the feet. Way wider than the hips, toes are pointed forward. We're gonna just take a little lunge to the side, and then we're gonna take our hips to the other side. Knee is pointed over the toe. We take it side, press the hips back, and side. Just getting some movement into those hips. Taking it from one side, to the other. Try to stay low here, but keep the chest up. Let's do two more. Now we're gonna hold it, bend the right knee, and we're gonna externally rotate that left leg. Sink the hips down low. You can either stay up here, keeping your right heel off of the mat. If you can, try to let that heel melt down. Just breathing here for a second, flexing through that left foot. You should feel that inner thigh stretching out. Feel that inner thigh stretching out on both legs. You're allowing that right knee to open up. Feel that hamstring on the left leg stretching out. Let's take one more breath here. And then we're gonna come through the center, take it to the other side, allowing that left knee to open up wide, flex through that right foot, and just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. It's really important as we go through stretching, to keep that three count breath, to really relax into the stretch. And let's come back through the center, come all the way up to standing, and then we're gonna flip around, we're gonna take a fold forward. So bring the feet right underneath the hips, let's take a deep inhale, exhale, let's fold it forward, pressing those glutes back. You can just let the head hang heavy here. Take a little micro bend into the knees so you can allow the chest to come to the thighs. We're still starting to warm up those hamstrings, so we're not forcing anything here. You can just rock side to side. And then grab opposite elbows. Just let the head be heavy, releasing any tension in that neck. And then we're gonna start to straighten out those legs. Feel those hamstrings stretching out. And we're gonna walk the hands out. We're gonna find a downward facing dog. So downward dog is great stretch for those hamstrings. You really need hamstring flexibility in your splits. So here we're just letting those heels melt down. You're feeling the calves, the hamstrings, and then you're pressing all 10 fingers evenly into that mat. Just holding here. Let's take three breaths here. Let's really allow those heels to melt down in through the nose. Exhale. 
two more breaths and through the nose. Exhale. On this last, last breath, let those heels melt down just a little bit more. And then we're gonna extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Take a second to let that left heel melt down. Getting a little deeper into that left hamstring. And then let's bring that right knee into the chest. We're gonna take a lunge here. Allow your bottom knee to drop down. So we're stretching out our hip flexor, which is the front of our thigh. In our splits, it's super important that we have hip flexor flexibility. So this is a great stretch to start with, our runner's lunge. If you want a little bit more in the stretch, just bring that right foot out to the edge of your mat. And then from here, you can place those forearms down. Just let that head be heavy. We're gonna hang here for about 30 seconds. So you can really get in deep to this stretch. 30 seconds is a great time to be holding these intense stretches. So you can really just breathe into it and allow your body to settle in. Maybe close those eyes. As I'm going through stretching, I like to play my favorite relaxing song. So I'm taking the tension out of my neck, out of my jaw, and just relaxing and focusing on my breath. The more you relax, the easier this will be. Okay, let's take one more breath here. And then we're gonna press the palms up. And then we're gonna stretch out the quadriceps. So you're gonna windmill the right arm around, grab for that left ankle, bring the heel to the seat and then shift the weight forward so you're not on the top of that knee. You're shifting weight forward, tucking that tailbone under. Huge stretch for that quadricep. If this isn't available to you, a really good option is bringing that same arm as like left hand and you can keep the chest open, just working on trying to bring that heel to the seat. Doesn't happen for everybody, that's okay. We're working towards that, just to get that flexibility in the front of your quadricep and your hips. Let's take two more breaths here. And then slowly release that leg down. We're gonna shift the weight back. So my left knee is stuck right underneath my hip. And then from here, make sure your right heel is right in front of your belly button. Now rotate that left hip around to meet the right. So both hips are square towards your front. A lot of the time we like to be here, it takes all the stretch out of the hamstring. When you keep both hips square, that's when you really feel that hamstring starting to open up. And then flex through that right foot. So this is less about how much you can fold forward and curve that spine. This is more about how straight can I get that spine. If you have maybe two pillows next to you or blocks, you can always come up a little bit higher and just work on straightening out that spine and then eventually you'll be able to um, touch that mat. So we're gonna take 30 seconds in this stretch. Just close those eyes, flex through that right foot. You can pull on those toes if you want a little bit more intensity into that stretch. Feeling the back of the knee starting to lengthen. This is a huge problem area for a lot of people. I know I used to have really, really tight hamstrings and this is one thing that helped me get my splits is just working on that hamstring flexibility and our half splits. 30 seconds here. As you exhale, maybe get a little bit deeper, walk those fingertips out a little bit farther. On your next exhale, you can allow that head to come down. Just breathing here, let that head be heavy. Still flexing through that right foot. You still wanna stay engaged in that right foot. So we're actively stretching. And then try to pull up through your quadricep. So you're working the opposite muscles. As you lengthen out the hamstring, you're engaging the quadricep to get a little deeper into that stretch. Let's take one more breath. And then slowly and carefully we come on forward. Step that leg back, walk those hands to the feet. And then we're gonna just take that forward fold. I want you to notice the difference in the right leg compared to the left, maybe feel a little bit longer in that right hamstring compared to the left after a few stretches. And then we'll walk on out to that downward facing dog. Again, notice that difference. Maybe the right heel melts down just a little bit more than the left. And this time we extend the left leg up to the ceiling. Take that three-legged dog, let that right heel melt down. Keep both shoulders square. And then slowly bring that left leg through the hands. Find that lunge. Let's drop that back knee down. 
taking a second to stretch out that right hip flexor. Whatever you did on the other side, try to do it on this side. So if you took that fold four down on the forearms, maybe try it on this side. I know one side feels a little bit more flexible than the other, but that side that's a little bit less flexible, just close the eyes, focus on that three count inhale, holding that inhale at the top. And three count exhale. Try to tuck the tailbone under. So if the glutes are up here, we're not stretching out the hip flexor. So keep that tailbone tucked under and then squeeze on both glutes to get a little deeper into that stretch. Good. And then slowly and carefully walk those palms up. Hang here for a second. And then we're gonna windmill that left arm around, grabbing for that right ankle bringing the heel to the seat, then rotate your left shoulder around, anchor it down onto that left knee. Again, if you need that modification, that right hand grabs for that right ankle, the chest stays open. Just make sure as you do this one, we're not on the top of the knee, right? We're tucking that tailbone under, squeezing the glutes, shifting the weight forward, and then you feel a huge stretch, quadricep hip flexor all on the right side. And then you'll feel it even more if you rotate that left shoulder around to that left knee. Let's take two breaths here. Good. I know my right quadricep always feels so much tighter than my left. Good. And then slowly release that leg. We're gonna shift that weight back. Now we're getting into that left hamstring. Bring that heel right in front of the belly button and then rotate both hips or pointed front. Just like headlights, they're square towards your front, pointed forward, toes are pointed up to the ceiling, and let's find that straight spine. So just like you're sitting in a chair. So we're not tucking our tailbone under. Notice, try it for yourself. As you tuck the tailbone under, you don't feel as much of a stretch, but then press those glutes back like you're sitting in a chair. Now you feel a huge stretch in those hamstrings. I know I do. If you're not feeling that stretch, you walk those fingertips out a little bit further. 30 seconds here of just breathing, thinking happy thoughts, maybe smiling. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And then still engage those muscles. So we're not sinking into the joints, we're still engaging that quadricep to lengthen out those hamstrings. Good. And then now we can let that head go. Let it hang heavy, heavy, heavy. Keep both hips square. I notice my left hip wants to shift forward. Keep it pressing back so you're keeping that hip in the socket. Good, two more breaths here. Deep inhale, three counts. Audible exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale. And then let's shift that weight forward. Tuck the right toes, send the hips back. Ooh, feeling a lot longer than we did when we started off. Heels are maybe touching the mat or maybe a little bit closer to the mat this time around. Take one more breath here. And then bend the knees. We're gonna drop those knees down, send the legs around. We're gonna work on our seated forward fold. So starting with one leg, so you can really focus on one hamstring at a time. So bend the left knee, bring it right into the inner thigh. Right leg comes along, flex through that foot. Now from here, we're gonna bring the right arm on the inside of the right inner thigh. Left arm reaches overhead. So we're getting a nice stretch all along the side body, reaching for the toes. I want you to try to stack the shoulders and then gaze up at the ceiling. A lot of the time when we're this way, we're not getting that nice stretch. But when you open up, you feel all the way from the shoulder down to the hip bone. And then really flex through that foot. Try to almost bring the right heel off of the mat. So you're engaging through the quadricep and stretching out that hamstring. On your exhale, we're gonna rotate the nose down to the knee. Now center off both hip bones and then pull the toes towards you. Get a nice stretch for those hamstrings. If you're somebody with really tight hamstrings, it's okay to take a little bend into the knee to start and then fold forward and then slowly progress to straightening out that leg, flexing through the foot. But the idea is here is straight spine and then keep your gaze forward to start. 
So you're really trying to pull that toe towards you, pull the heel off of the mat. Huge hamstring stretch on that right side. Take one more inhale. Exhale, we're gonna point the toe. Now bring the nose down to the knee. Really pointing all the way, straightening out that leg. Nice active right leg. If you're not feeling this, it's always an option to reach a little bit farther past those toes. Good. And then slowly roll it on up. And then we're gonna come into our butterfly stretch. So bringing the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. This stretches out our inner thighs and hips. So sit up nice and tall to start. And then we're gonna exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, roll it on down, making a C curve with the spine. Then we walk those fingertips out long. We'll just hang here for a second. So if you're working on your straddle splits, the center splits, this is a great stretch to begin with. You really feel the hips open up, the inner thighs, and then you allow those knees to just fall open, letting gravity do the work, not forcing anything, right? We're breathing, we're relaxing into it with every exhale. We walk those fingertips a little bit further. And let's take two more breaths here and through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more breath. Slowly roll it on up. And this time we're gonna hit that left hamstring. So right leg goes on the inside of the inner thigh. And then we're gonna open up, bring that right arm overhead, reaching for the left toes. Um, again, make sure you open up the chest, look up that ceiling, flex through that left foot, engage the quadricep, the thigh muscle. Good. Reach a little bit further, take a deep inhale. Exhale, one more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Now center off, bringing the nose down to the knee. We flex through the foot, we keep the spine straight. It's okay to have that little bend into the knee to really feel that straightness of the spine. Flex through the foot even more. Pull the toes towards you. Look up, look up. One more breath. Exhale, we point the toe. We stretch those arms long. Let's take a few breaths here. Still engaging through the muscles of that left leg. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, roll it on up. Now we're gonna straighten out both legs this time. So again, if you got those tight hamstrings, you take a tiny, tiny little bend into the knees. We sit up tall on those sits bones. Let's take a deep inhale, bring those arms overhead. Exhale, let's fold it forward, grabbing for the toes. Same thing here, straight spine to start. You can walk those heels out. Let's take three breaths here, inhale, exhale. A little bit taller on your inhale. Exhale. Maybe walk those legs out even longer. Inhale, feel that huge hamstring stretch. Exhale, we roll it on down, point those toes, and then take that fold forward. Now let's flex the feet here. It's okay to take that bend into the knees. We're folded all the way forward. Nose is reaching down towards those shins. Flexing those feet big time. Let's take two breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then slowly and carefully roll it on up. So go ahead and grab a strap if you have one. If you don't, that's okay. Maybe grab a longer towel or a TheraVan or anything you can grab the leg with. And we're gonna go ahead and lay down. We're gonna do a, some more hamstring stretches down on our backs. So go ahead and grab your towel, your band, whatever it is, place it around the ball of your right foot. Extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. So I want you to keep both hips square so we're not hiking up that right hip. We want that correct alignment. When you're in your splits, your hips are trying to get square, so that's what we're trying to do here. Square hips, flex of the foot, pull down on that strap. Inhale, let's take a bend into that knee. Deep inhale, exhale, big stretch out, pull a little bit more down on that strap. So make sure it's on the ball of your foot, not your arch, so when you pull down, the toes point down towards you. It really helps you feel the back of the leg. One more time, we inhale, bend that knee. Exhale, pull even more. Good, last time we inhale, bend the knee. 
keep the hips square. Exhale, we pull even more. Make sure you're not forcing anything into pain. So as you're stretching, you're gonna feel a dull pain, but you never want any sharp pain. So back off if you feel sharp pain. Listen to your body here and keep breathing and relaxing. We hold it here on the next one. Now place that strap or towel into the right hand. We open up the right leg to the right side. Inner thigh stretch here. So it's okay if your leg's just a little bit lower, but I want you to focus on keeping both hips level so that left hip is staying planted down on the mat. It's not coming up. And then you're stretching out that inner thigh. That right foot is flexed. If you want even more, you place the strap into both hands. You pull, bring that leg in a little bit closer, flexing through that foot. Now let's bring it back through to the center. Now we're gonna bring it across the body, just a few inches. So you'll feel huge outer thigh, IT band, which runs from the knee all the way down to the hip, stretching out. And I want you to think about bringing the big toe edge of the foot down towards the ground. So you'll feel from your shin all the way down. Breathe it here. And then let's come back through to the center, get that stretch one more time. And then we'll place both feet into our strap here. And then just notice the difference. Compared to the beginning of our video, maybe you feel even longer. Your feet are flexing more than they did. And then maybe that right leg feels a little bit longer than the left. Mine definitely feels like it can straighten out a little bit more. And then let's switch it. Right leg goes long, flex through that right foot, and then bring that strap onto the ball of your left foot. Hips are square, pull down. Feel that left foot flexing towards the face. Inhale, we bend the knee. Exhale, let's straighten it out. One more time, inhale, let's bend the knee. Exhale, straighten out, pull even more. If you're feeling a little shake in that leg, that means you're doing it right. One last time, inhale, we bend the knee. Exhale, straighten it out. Holding it here for one final breath. And then now we bring that left leg out to the left side. Keep both glutes planted down. Pull that left leg in. So this is great for your straddle stretch, getting that inner thigh nice and lengthened here. Let's take two breaths here. And last breath. We come back through to the center, bring it across the body. Big toe edge of the foot comes down towards the ground. So pull on that band. So you rotate the foot inwards and then you feel a stretch, huge stretch from the shin all the way down to that T-band. And slowly come back center. Get that stretch on that left side one more time. And then we'll place both feet into that strap. Take a bend into the knees. We send those toes behind us getting a stretch from the low back, the hamstrings, holding here for a second. And then slowly start to rock and roll it on up. Great job today. I would love to know how these stretches worked out for you and where you are in your journey to the splits. You can find the rest of this program and all my Banks Method workouts on the Yoga Plus app or watch it free with Amazon Prime. Thanks so much for stretching with me today and I'll see you next time. sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus. Download now for free.